Electric semi trucks might completely replace diesel trucks. Changing all semi trucks in America to electric will cost nearly $1 trillion and they might be planning on doing just that. And the crazy part is that doesn't even include the cost of the trucks themselves. Electric trucks have been here for a while now, but are they really advanced enough to completely take over the market? In this video, I'm going to explain how long it will be until we see the nationwide electric truck infrastructure built and what this means for your trucking business and if it's actually worth worrying about right now. And spoiler alert, it probably is, but I'll let you decide. How long will it be until we see this happen? A study made by the Clean Freight Collision conducted in March 2024 said that it would cost almost $1 trillion to get this electric infrastructure implemented. Now that's a huge budget. So what's the breakdown of the number and how long it will be until we see this fully built. The reason why CFC commissioned this study in the first place was to get a better sense of what the switch would cost to inform both policymakers and the public. Jim Mullen, who's the executive director at CFC said, we found that there was a void in information relative to this transition as it relates to the nation's electrical infrastructure. A lot of mumbo jumbo. But he basically said that they just wanted to see how much would it cost to implement if they went through with this? The company that conducted this study, Roland Berger, found that around 620 billion of this massive budget would need to go towards charging infrastructure. And the other 370 billion would go towards upgrading the distribution of grid networks, which would power the charging stations. The president of American Trucking Association, Chris Spears, criticized the study stating, this study shows us that this mad dash to zero exposes the supply chain to $1 trillion in unfunded mandates. Again, a lot of mumbo jumbo, but Chris is saying that how are we going to pay and find $1 trillion? He also pointed out another study talking about the fact that emissions from modern trucks have dropped 98.5% over the course of the past four decades. That's basically one truck in 1988 emitting what 60 trucks released into the atmosphere now. To sum it up, Chris basically said that he's on board with going green, but it needs to be done in a way that doesn't involve $1 trillion popping out of nowhere. Now, if you run a trucking business, you're probably like, what does this mean for my company? And do I need to buy all new trucks for my fleet? All of those things are reasonable questions. And you know how I mentioned that the $1 trillion budget doesn't even include the cost of the trucks? Yeah, that expense falls onto the trucking businesses. At the moment, battery powered semis are two to three times more expensive than their diesel powered equivalent. Diesel class eight trucks cost roughly $180,000 on average, while a comparable battery electric truck cost over 400,000. Replacing your fleet might hurt the wallet. Wilfred Alber, who's a senior partner at Roland Berger, said electrification means focusing on the vehicle segments that are easier first. It means that we have to look at how fleets operate and potentially adjust. It means that we need better cooperation and planning across the industries and governments. And it requires an openness to alternative technology paths to decarbonizing the heavy duty segment. Again, long quote, but he's basically saying that the medium sized vehicles will face fewer roadblocks when it comes to turning electric, such as those mid sized mail trucks you see driving around your neighborhood. Current economic and operational constraints make going fully green challenging for the heavy duty segment that includes semi. Not only this, but significant improvements in both battery range and charging infrastructure would be needed to make this a reality. So is this really worth worrying about right now? Do you have to pay out of your pocket for electric trucks in the coming years? While this is an interesting study that the CFC conducted, I don't think it's routed in reality at the moment. While reading the study, they didn't actually give a timeline on when this would be implemented it only talked about the heavy price tag. So personally, I don't think it's something you need to worry about right now. On the other hand, there are lots of hybrid trucks coming available to the public and there are lots of technological advancements coming with electric trucks. While they're not going mainstream anytime in the foreseeable future, 
don't count them out either. Now, it doesn't matter if there are electric trucks, diesel trucks, or trucks that have autopilot. The only thing I know is that trucks need to be seated with reliable and experienced drivers. If you own a trucking business that has over 10 trucks and are looking to grow your operations, I can help you double your fleet in 30 days or less. We helped over 500 trucking companies recently do this in the past five years by figuring out a system that allowed them to grow their fleet from 10 to 30 trucks in just 90 days. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you, check out the link in the description, watch the video, and if it's a good fit, we'll work together. See you in the next one.